located a bomb. Yo, it's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to improve your aim. Before we get started, I've been getting a lot of questions about my thumbnails. I don't actually make them. My friend Vexian does. He doesn't charge very much and even has a tutorial on how to make them yourself on his channel if you didn't want to pay for them. So the link to his Twitter to contact him and his video will be in the description below. Be sure to give him a sub and check out his video. Anyways, on to the video. To start us off, the number one tip that I can give you is to find the right sensitivity. Now, I've already made a video on this before, so I won't go too in-depth, but if you'd like to watch that video, I'll also have that linked below. So my recommendation to you is that you pick either 400 or 800 DPI for your mouse and stay below 20 vertical and horizontal in-game. Oftentimes, I see people with way too high of a sense, which is really holding them back. Next up, I recommend you pick plane on bomb for your T-hunts. The reason I like playing on bomb so much is because of how the map is shaped. Plane is basically a giant hallway, so when you plant the diffuser, you have two directions to worry about, either in front of you or behind you. This, in my opinion, is really helpful for learning your sense. It will teach you how much you need to move your mouse to turn 180 degrees, and will also get you warmed up very fast. Once you're in Tiant, you need to have a goal in mind for what you're trying to approve upon. Things such as better flick accuracy or crosshair placement, just be sure to have some sort of goal in mind and try to practice that as much as you can. Something to keep in mind during all of this is that if you stop practicing or playing in general, your aim and overall mechanical skill is going to get a lot worse and it will take some time to get that back. It isn't lost forever, you'll just have to start practicing a lot again to get it back. So I recommend you play for around the same amount every day. This way you'll be getting some practice in every day and you won't lose that mechanical skill. Just be sure to not play too much to the point where you're burning yourself out. It's very important to play a lot, but not too much where it feels like a chore and you don't want to do it anymore. That's when burnout begins and even if you play a lot, you're still going to be burnt out and you're going to play bad anyways. The best and easiest way to win your gunfights in Siege is to hit headshots, I think everybody knows that. With that being said, it's very important that you practice your crosshair placement. If you have great crosshair placement and someone you're in a gunfight with has really poor crosshair placement, chances are you're going to win that gunfight even if you don't shoot first. Always remember that headshots are insta-kills, so aim for the head. Make a conscious effort while on T-Hunt to check where your crosshair is and even in-game do this. The best way you can practice this, I would say, is to see where one of the T-Hunt bot's heads are in comparison to a doorway. This will give you a good idea of where to aim on the door. Then just practice aiming at that spot every time you aim down sight. Doorways are the best for this, in my opinion, because in an actual game, you're more likely to see a doorway to compare to rather than some obscure object you use for reference in your plain T-Hunt. Next thing to practice would be your tracking. So what I mean by that is your ability to aim at a certain spot and maintain that position of your reticle even while strafing. This is going to help you clear rooms much easier. So I would recommend you use that same doorway trick that I showed you earlier to practice your crosshair placement. Simply aim at the side of a doorway at head level and start strafing and try to stay on that one point on the door frame. This is not only going to help your tracking but also your crosshair placement. Now I know a lot of you are going to ask if I do any sort of third party aim trainers and the answer is no. Personally, I don't feel as if simulating my siege settings and siege in general in some third party program or game is going to help me and my aim in siege. Now if you use these and you think that it's helping you then by all means go ahead keep doing that. But for me personally, I don't like using those. I prefer to just practice my aim within Siege. So what I'm trying to say here is that you don't need to go out and buy all sorts of third-party aim trainers to get good aim. You can do it in Siege just as a lot of others do and how I do it myself. I think there's also benefits from doing it all in Siege. If you're aim training in Siege, you're going to be able to practice your movement much easier than you would with any third-party aim trainer. So again, those aim trainers aren't a bad thing. Some can certainly be good, but don't feel pressure to go out and buy one because you feel as if that's the only way to get better aim, because it most certainly isn't. 
As for practicing your recoil control, something I would recommend you do is to pick a high recoil weapon and put on a higher zoom scope and take off your vertical grip and barrel attachment. This will increase the recoil of the gun. The purpose of this is to have you practice controlling this gun with added recoil so that when you go back to using your normal attachments, it'll feel as if it has half the amount of recoil from what you're used to. If you're planning on doing this, you can simply find any non-destructible wall and just shoot at it a bunch until you start to feel really comfortable with it. If you run out of ammo, there will be ammo or supply crates around the map which you can refill your ammo at and then continue on practicing. If you're going to do this, I recommend you mainly just spray at a wall instead of playing normally. That's because you'll likely be aiming for the head if you're playing normally, so you'll be killing your targets really fast, which kind of ruins the point of practicing your recoil and spray control. I personally think this is one of the best ways, if not the best way, to practice your recoil control in Siege right now. Once you're able to control that one gun with a bunch of recoil, pretty much every gun will feel like a laser to you. Now this isn't something to increase the skill of your aim I guess, but it is something that will help you get a lot more kills and overall become a better player and that's to have good positioning. Now this really isn't something that I could say here, this is how you have good positioning. Sadly this is more so something you just have to learn from trial and error from your games. So what I mean by positioning though is don't put yourself in a position where you're very unlikely to win the gunfight unless you absolutely have to. Crosshair placement and all those other things are so important, but if you're putting yourself into a position where you have multiple people you need to take out from multiple different directions, your chances of winning that is going to be pretty slim even if your aim was amazing. So just try to pay attention to the sort of engagements you're taking while playing. Try not to put yourself in a position where you're highly unlikely to win unless you absolutely have to. This will without a doubt help you get more kills and increase your KD. Something a lot of people may overlook is actually getting enough sleep. I know from my own personal experience that if I go to bed really late one night and I don't get much sleep, I play horribly all day no matter how much aim training I actually do. So it's very important that you are well rested to perform well. So be sure to get enough sleep, have a breakfast, wake up a bit, do your aim training, and I promise you'll play much better than if you didn't. Alright, that's going to end this aim training guide. Once again, be sure to check out my how to find your sensitivity video. I'll have that linked in the description. But also, check out my thumbnail artist, Vexian. He does a great job and is very affordable. I'll have his thumbnail tutorial video linked below as well as his Twitter so that you can contact him. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. I'm on my way to 100k subs, so I would really appreciate any support on that. But as always, thanks for watching.